Hello, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate how pressure varies with depth in a liquid. We have an equation here that describes that. The pressure is equal to the density times acceleration due to gravity times the depth of the liquid. Here I have a diagram. This shows the depth, H, the distance between the top surface of the liquid and the pressure point in question. Now the pressure at a given depth is due to the weight of all the fluid above that level. Now I'm going to demonstrate how pressure varies with depth with the aid of this U-tube manometer, which is a device for measuring pressure. Here I have a little funnel with a rubber diaphragm over the open end of it. Uh, whatever uh, pressure we apply at this point will be transmitted down through this rubber hose into this glass part of this U-tube. And so whatever pressure we, we sense here will also be sensed at this, uh, at this particular location right here. So uh, what I want to do is to take this uh, device and start to push it down under the water and show how the pressure varies with depth. Before we do that, I'll just show you how this works here. If I apply a little bit of pressure here, we can see that the right side goes down, the left side comes up, and the pressure difference that we have between inside of this apparatus and outside, which is the uh, side over here exposed to the atmosphere, that pressure difference will show up as being proportional to the height difference of these two uh, U uh, two sides of the U-tube. So Pascal's principle tells us that if we apply a pressure at one point in a system, that pressure will be applied equally throughout the entire system, and we see that showing up here. So we're going to use that principle here, along with this manometer, to show how the pressure varies with depth in this particular tank of water. So as I start to push this under the water, we'll see... Uh, get this out of the way here so you can see those uh, U-tubes here. You want to watch this side go down, this side go up as I start to push this down under the water. So we see that the pressure at a given depth has a certain value and it doesn't matter where in the tank, at the same level the pressure will be common throughout at any particular location. So the pressure is the same here at a particular level as it is over here at exactly the same level. Further, if I tip it on an angle, the pressure is independent of direction. So the pressure on a vertical surface at a given depth is the same as the pressure on a horizontal surface at that same depth, illustrating how pressure varies with depth in a fluid. Another way to demonstrate the pressure-depth relationship is with this uh, device here that's sometimes called a hydrostatic paradox. If I pour liquid into one end of this complicated shaped set of tubes here, we'll see what happens to the level in each one. And uh, we see that the level in each tube is uh, the same and illustrating that the pressure across the bottom is common, the pressure across the top is common, so the pressure difference in each tube is common, and therefore the height should be the same in each tube. Illustrating that the pressure is directly proportional to the height and does not depend on the shape or the cross-sectional area of the container. Now I'd like to further demonstrate how pressure varies with depth in a liquid. Here I have a block of styrofoam which weighs practically nothing and if I put the styrofoam here which has a cross-sectional area on the bottom here of 100 square inches, I put this uh, particular surface of styrofoam on the liquid and start to push down. The more I push, the greater the pressure build up on the bottom, increasing how, indicating and demonstrating how increasing the force down increases the upward force of pressure on the styrofoam, illustrating how pressure increases 
with depth. Greater depth, greater force, same cross-sectional area, greater pressure. Now I can further illustrate that again with this uh, YouTube manometer. This is a device for measuring pressure. When I insert this into the liquid at a certain level, this tank is six inches deep. This tank is six inches deep. Notice that the cross-sectional areas are very much different from one another. I go to a certain depth here, say six inches deep in that particular tank, and I get a certain pressure difference read on the YouTube. I come over here and I go to the same six inches of depth and I get exactly the same pressure difference. Indicating the pressure depends on the depth and not on the cross-sectional area of the container. Pressure versus depth. <laughs>